welcome to episode 11. That's right. We managed to get past the 10. Yes. So with this one, we, we, we got a few things we're going to, we're going to wrap on about, uh, of course, uh, with Google IO wrapping up, uh, well, not wrapping up, it's, it's still going on, but, uh, the keynote yesterday, uh, there was of course nothing but AI mentioned. It was, uh, at last, I think when I counted, cause they mentioned it at the 200 and I counted every time he said it after that, I think it was 226. I may be wrong. <laughs> uh, there, there's, there's stuff on the internet that actually has how many times they said that as well as Android. <laughs> Usually oh. Android is mentioned over 200 times, but the AI was, as a matter of fact, Sundar at the end of the, of the end of the keynote talked about that put up the big giant graphic on the huge screen when it said 200 or 205 or whatever it was at the time and then he said and that's it I, i'll try not to say it anymore and he said it promptly four more times in less than a minute <laughs> so having said that uh i'm lionel mcclintock and i'm out of toronto canada and of course robert warren out of the nashville area tennessee Hello. united states of america or america <laughs> so USA. uh we like to talk about a lot of things that we do the same a lot of things we do different and uh, mixing it all up so with that said let's talk about a nice hot button topic that's really gonna piss a lot of people off and make a lot of people happy and none of you will be happy i'm kidding but nonetheless if your local government aka your your state or province uh had basically said they were changing the, the uh, uh, rules for automotive insurance so that it would be uh, run by the government and you would be guaranteed to get the same rates. Uh, it would still be rated the same way any other insurance company does, but you don't have to shop around and you can pretty much guarantee you're going to pay less than virtually anywhere else, uh, save for the smallest communities you know, where there's no car theft ever um would you think that was a good idea or would you say what socialism no immediately and before anybody even thinks about that manitoba went to public insurance uh 70s i think it was i can't remember exactly but uh in my entire adult life uh it's it's manitoba public insurance corporation and there is no place in canada that pays less insurance for the same vehicle if you have uh, living in the same class of neighborhood somewhere else. Mind you, Winnipeg and Manitoba in itself uh, is, is a very inexpensive compared to most parts of the country. But that said, uh, six months after I moved to Ontario, I got my last rebate check because we had apparently all overpaid because they had enough of a profit to give back to all the people who paid for their insurance. Good luck seeing that in your private insurance. I, I know it's happened, but it's, it's few and far between and not very many companies do it. So first of all, Robert, what's your opinion on that? And what do you, what do you think most Americans would have to say about that? And well, I, I think most Americans would not want it at all. And it's not necessarily socialism, capitalism aspect of it. It's government hands and everything. Um, you right. know, government has been proven to not be very effective at managing things. And my concern would be no argument. not so much about what I'm paying is, <clears throat> excuse me, about claim coverage. Like how fast are they going to pay a claim? You know? Yeah. Uh, right. Well uh, yeah. I understand that whole process. So, you know, yeah. it's just like the whole healthcare side of things. And I know, you know, the, Canadian healthcare system versus U.S. healthcare system is yeah we we don't have to worry about totally paying for but, for having a heart attack but at the same time we won't necessarily get this. it depends on where you go keep in mind the hospital you go to uh, the city you live in uh, you know whatever um, we still have you know same type of things like life flight and all that just like you know you have down there right um, so we can get the same care here um, but in all honesty if it's not urgent care we do have a tendency to have to wait longer than some areas. I can't say all, some of them are pretty bad. Uh, and it doesn't, unless you were extremely rich or in some cases that doesn't even matter. But that said, as in regards to what you said about the government, not being able to do or have their hands in, technically the government has their hands in it one way or the other, because there's still regulations for the most part on what they can and can't do. 
what they do have to insure, what they can't insure, and and how much. Uh, I think I'm pretty sure every state has laws about how much absolutely has to be paid for liability. For instance, yes. uh, the the least amount of liability coverage, for instance, uh, minimum. Um, that's exactly the same anywhere in Canada. Basically, insurance is the same here as it is there. And for most of Canada, we do it the same way. We go shopping for insurance. I personally prefer when it comes to auto insurance or even home insurance, a broker. Because the broker can get you in touch with the best thing. And when you have a problem, you go to the broker. I had issues with my auto insurance uh, not long ago. I went to the broker. Broker basically took seven hours to get it fixed and get back to me. That would have been at least a day and a half on the phone five times for me, probably on hold most of it. So I, there's things the same, but nonetheless, because I grew up in Manitoba, uh, I did spend a number of years there driving before I moved to, to Ontario. And it is, uh, the insurance is much better there. Uh, I, I'm telling you, uh, the claims are, extremely quick uh get into an accident and much like you would any other insurance you you call them if the police need to be involved you know for somebody else with property damage or whatever then of course you take care of that first and call the insurance company at the same time and you get your incident number and you give that to the insurance agent and then of course they naturally send you somewhere to get your vehicle assessed right um in the case of manitoba uh, depending on where what area you in, you can go right to their center, and there's a couple of them in Winnipeg, and you can just drive the car right up there, uh, and they take it in and they look at it and give their assessment right on the spot right there. Yeah, uh, if you're getting your money, you know, after your your uh, deductible and whatever, um, you can have it in as little as several days or even less. I've seen people get into accidents and seven days later have the money in their account or be driving a new car. Uh, it's a little rare because if there's, you know, a police report involved and then they have to, you know, make sure they, they get their hands on the actual police report, not just the incident number. If there's witnesses, they might want to send an investigator to talk to them. But if it's just a, a situation where you got hail damage, you know, and, and they can see the car and they can tell it's absolutely, absolutely hail damage, then they do know you know, or flood damage if you pay for it, which is hard to get, obviously. I'm sure you know that. Uh, or or theft. And the car isn't recovered, but the police have confirmed that your car is stolen. And not by anybody you're related to. Then, then they can get that information really quickly, and it can take anywhere from several days to a few weeks. And they're very quick, but basically around here, I'd be lucky. Like, it, when, I caught, when I got into an accident, it, it took nearly two weeks for them to just say, okay, you can take your car to this location to have it looked at. And after that, it was another three days before they got back to me and said, uh, we're, we're finding you at fault for the accident, and this is how much you have to pay. Yeah. I mean, that was, well, that's it, absurd. It, you know, the, 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 those kind of situations happen here, too. I mean, don't get me wrong. Yeah, of course. Uh, you know, it's it really depends on the insurance company. Some companies are yes. better at processing things. Uh, we personally have a, a local agent who is a agent for a major insurance company, State Farm. Yeah. So, like, oh, you're have a State her Farm boy. Cell phone. Okay. So I can call up my agent on her cell phone and say, "Hey," and I I did it last time I was in a wreck, and I was like, "Hey, right, yeah. uh, What do I need to do?" She's like, "I'm on it. I'll have someone from the office call you." They call me in five minutes. I dealt with. Okay. Them, I didn't even deal with the other insurance company. And yeah, it was just bang, 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 bang. Now, I have well, had I, other insurance companies that well, it wasn't bang, 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 bang. So I, it really yeah. depends on, but we have a local agent. I think maybe that kind of is how your local brokerage maybe is. I, I don't know, but. Um, well, they are, have, they, they, they are very much like that, except I'm not calling the person on the cell phone. It's just that they answer the phone 24-7. And do whatever you need to have them do yeah. to deal with whatever. Well, we don't uh, always call her own self. I'm just saying we, you know. We no, I'm, 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 yeah, she's I a personal that. friend and she's a local agent. She's been around yeah. here for 30 years, 40 years. We've had her as insurance agent for 15 or 20 years. Well, and basically, basically, it sounds like regardless of that, if you weren't friends, 
uh, you you would still be able to deal with this agency in in a similar yes. manner, yes. Uh, in which they would get to stuff quickly. I mean, maybe it might take a day longer if it wasn't your personal friend, but that still sounds like it's quick. So I do well, understand. They all know us. Yeah. They all know us. So yeah. You know. So it, it's easier when when you have a company that that wants to to deal with that because they they want you there because if you get into three accidents in your entire life and they have to pay out seventeen thousand dollars in your entire life. But you're paying them eighty thousand. You know, they're 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 gonna love you, right? What they don't like are the people who get into an accident three times a year and they have to pay out thirteen thousand dollars each time, and this person is not paying thirteen thousand dollars a year yeah. in insurance. Um, yeah. That's another story. But that said, that's another thing about having it run by well, in Manitoba, what they call is a crown corporation. Because uh, anything that the businesses that are operated and run by the government if in a corporate set, as in publicly, not government bodied, uh, is called a crown corporation in Canada, M referring to the monarchy, of course. Yeah. Um, okay. <laughs> yeah. Not that, not that it matters because we don't answer to the queen anymore. Right, right. Right. Or sorry, King. <laughs> some, some things <laughs> die hard though. Right. <laughs> and she did. Oh, mm, no, sir. Too soon. That's not what I meant. <laughs> I know. I know. Bad joke. Okay. Okay. Anyways, <laughs> the bottom line is, 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 um, and this is where I say people are going to disagree with what, what I'm saying hotly in some cases, but they do a phenomenal job. They give money back if they've been overpaid. They pay out much easier. Don't get me wrong. If they think that you're at fault, and your damage is assessed higher than you believe it should be, your problems are going to be exactly the same as with a private insurance company. But the difference is, is that a crown corporation that is there to serve the public in that aspect can actually be sued. Unlike trying to sue, you know, the, the IRS or the CRA in Canada. You can't really do that. At least I don't think you can. <laughs> I think they have it written in, you know, uh, well, Qualified the, immunity or something well, like that. That's technically, the IRS is not a government agency. You realize that, right? Uh, you know what? I I think I knew that, but no, I don't yeah. realize that. But remember, I'm not the American. So I, I have they, they are not a government agency. They they are a uh, privately held company that works for the government to collect taxes. That is absolutely it's, it's crazy. A, it's a big, it's a big, yeah, it's, it's a big mess. That's absolutely <laughs> crazy. That might be why they're <laughs> Is, is is tight up the at the up the rear section as they actually are. If they were a government agency, they'd probably give me, be giving you money back when when they you know uh, in benefits more often. Because in all honesty, very few governments, at least free world governments, want to have money that they didn't actually ask for, because they never know where they can put it. Because then there's a lot of red tape about what they're allowed to do. So that's why the government always comes up with these ideas let's do this rebate net. And I know the American does it, government does too. They just do it differently than Canada does. But anyways, <laughs> that's going like, in another direction. You see, the thing, the thing is, is that, and it's kind of, when you've been in a system for so long, it's very difficult to move away from that system. Yeah. You know, for example, just take the healthcare side of things, right? Canada has been in a, in a socialistic healthcare society for I don't know how long, a long time. United States has always been privatized. It would be very, very difficult to take a privatized system into a social type system without just I don't complete think it, chaos. I don't think it would be chaos. possible in the United States of America but at all. Barack Obama tried to do it, and that's where he came up with... Not um, completely. Whole, no, not completely, but it was kind of like a stepping stone, and they still have the... Um, and I will say that the whole um, marketplace, the insurance marketplace, uh, they have made a lot of improvements. And actually, when I lost yeah. uh, my other job and I lost my insurance, we went to the marketplace to get insurance. And we were able to find pretty good coverage, paying a lot of money for it. But um, it's necessary for us. And so we, you know, we have to, it's something we have to do, so... Uh, but if it, if we yeah. didn't have that, it would be a struggle to find a a decent insurance plan because then you know you'd have these independent companies, private companies, really taking advantage. I think of 
of a lot of things, which they did. Of course, I've always had insurance through a employer up until now, and that's completely different because they're all based on um, groups, right? So an employer yeah, has yeah. 500 employees. They get great rates because they have they can spread it across. Well, you know, of course, you know what? So, I still get I still get emails about about my benefits from a place I worked at for two weeks and or sorry, it was two months, but uh, two yeah. weeks that I was actually enrolled, but never actually got officially into it. So I literally was given my membership into it. And within hours, was, was fired. <laughs> so I don't even qualify. So I don't know why they're sending me emails as if I'm actually getting benefits yeah. or something. Uh, there's no paying into it by neither me nor the company. So I know if something happened. And it was life. It included life insurance. Yeah. Um, it, it would have been a heck of a company to stay working with. I, I was actually looking forward to it. By now, I would have been the boss. <laughs> but I, I won't even get in there. Um but the marketplace is just the coverage. It's it's not the yeah um, the actual care side of things, right? That's still right, all right. privatized. So you know, but yeah, they well, set minimums and maximums for what you can pay, what you can charge. Uh, so there is some regulations, and you know, it's really healthcare is a big mess, to be honest with you. <laughs> but, well, yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course it is, <laughs> but I mean, it, you know, it, it's just I just want to again. Lastly, with that part of it, uh, I just mentioned again that it, that it, it with Manitoba when it switched, the population wasn't that big. I mean, there were seven hundred thousand people in the entire province, uh, maybe four hundred and eighty thousand people in Winnipeg. Um, so it really wasn't that difficult, you know. They basically said, "This is what's going to happen, and if you don't like it, too bad." Uh, no, it didn't put insurance companies out of business because somebody has to actually sell the insurance and they all become brokers, right. basically, right? So they're they're authorized agents, basically, for Manitoba Public Insurance Corporation. Um, so once they got that 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 put together, uh, I, I'm, I assume that probably only half of them or something like that were authorized at first to get it started. And then the authorizations, authorizations probably just started pouring in once they proved that they you knew what they were doing and they could say, yeah, this is what the insurance is when you do. And it's no different than looking for insurance somewhere else. The only difference is that you, your price is going to be the same and it's always lower, but I, I, you know, um, it wouldn't work in Toronto. Toronto's too big and it's not just Toronto. It would have to be all of Ontario. So just in Toronto, greater Toronto area, there are nearly seven and a half or 8 million people. I mean, it's, yeah. uh, without leaving the, the city. I mean, you go from one city to the other and you're not leaving. You know what I'm talking about, right? Uh, right, yeah. Uh, <clears throat> and, and it's not, it's like most of those people are, are used to it. You know, it's pretty much the same where most of Canada and all of the U.S. And they would be in an uproar. Uh, yeah. And it doesn't really matter that in reality it probably would be better. They would be saying the same thing that you're saying. And that is pretty much that the government's got their hands in it. You know, there would be truckers going to Ottawa and stuff <laughs> like that. Uh, but in all honesty, and this is where this is where people hate me. I think you're all wrong because it works better. And the government has the same amount of hand in it as they otherwise would. It may be the Manitoba Public Insurance Corporation, but it's not run by bureaucrats. It's run by the same people that would run any other insurance company. The head of MPIC used to be the head of a different insurance company. For instance. Uh, at least it used to be. I don't know who is right now. Um, but that's pretty much the same kind of thing. So whoever runs this corporation moves on a few years later to that corporation after they get what they wanted done, done. And that's that's very true in, in a lot of large corporations. And it's true for MPIC as well. Uh, another example that hasn't to do with insurance, but uh, the guy who is in charge, I can't remember the title, but the guy who was in charge of the Toronto Transit Commission for a few years, and he did a lot of good things for the Transit Commission, and then he moved on. Uh, I believe originally it was to London, England, and he did a bunch of good stuff there. And then he moved on a couple of years later again to New York, where at first he loved it. And he, of course, he ended up in the news a lot because it's New York. So <laughs> the man's moved around all over the place. And he'll continue to do that. You know, the head of Coca-Cola ends up at, uh, you know, some other plant somewhere. The head of Ford would, 
Yeah, even even with network television, uh, back in the seventies, the the head of NBC switched to CBS or vice versa. I can't remember what. Or no, I think it was ABC went to NBC or something like that. But um, yeah, but the, what, what I see, and I, I can only compare um, the healthcare side of things a little more accurately, only because I've seen what you went through getting your, you know. <laughs> bronchial issues resolved right that took uh, they a, didn't really get resolved i kind of it was kind of a well, fluke that i came across you know but, but yeah i mean now i granted you probably could have been a little more like i'm gonna stand at the doorway until somebody helps me but you shouldn't have to do that right exactly so you do it, it's yeah. you know, i just see that if government hands are in it i think that the insurance would end up turning into something like that where that's you not just the government hey, wait, done. A minute. I, I have to stop you there that is not the government at all. Who is it? That is the doctors. The doctors have no mandate to make people wait. Uh, we're talking. Well, no, I don't think they have a mandate, care. but they this, don't have. No, any wait, hang on. We're talking. No, wait a minute. No, no. We're talking about private health care. These doctors still get paid for every patient they see. They get paid for every visit they see. They get paid for every prescription they give out. It's no different in the U.S. in that sense. Uh, so uh, a country doctor might not make as much as a a surgeon, you know, or maybe as much as a family doctor in, in New York City. But the uh, same thing is, is true here to some extent. It's just that the government says this is the least you can get paid for this. But unfortunately, this is also the maximum, which means you, you can't go into a hospital, uh, get an x-ray, and then the doctor can bill the government $87,000 for your x-ray which right, is right. entirely possible in the U S and they'll make all kinds of claims to why, uh, or maybe not an X-ray, but an MRI will say, right. Whereas here they said, this is the maximum that is going to be charged for MRI. So basically doctors just automatically charge the maximum. It's just an automatic, right? Yeah, so I just don't they, think it incentivizes yeah. growth and, you know, better productivity. And this is my opinion. You know, no, and that's I, fine. That's fine. You, know, you you have a right to your opinion, and and in some cases you're absolutely right, but in in other cases not necessarily. As for instance, uh, some of the best hospitals in the world, uh, we all know, are in the U.S. of A, but also some of them are in Canada. And for the most part, while uh, there's got to be at least one really good one in Vancouver, I'm probably sh pretty sure it's going to be more than one uh calgary is noted for having a phenomenal hospital there a children's hospital as well as a is a great surgical hospital there um toronto has more than one learning hospital and when i say that with my eyes bugged out uh if you are ever unsure about what hospital you want to be taken to go to a learning hospital because the, the idea is that these doctors are supposed to be getting taught how to do things properly which means there's more experience at the hospital, not just the doctors who are learning. And they're trying to make sure they do things properly. Right. And there tend to be, learning hospitals tend to be better funded. Uh, wait times are down. Uh, it's less stressful. They try to get you in and out faster if they can. And if you need urgent care, they tend to get to you pretty much more efficiently. And this is what happened when I had an issue several years ago. And I had to go to the hospital in an emergency situation, but I took myself there and I went to the first, uh, uh, reception and she, you know, just took my name and my health card number and, and said, go have a seat right over there. And someone will be with you in a bit. And of course I'm thinking, okay, it's a half an hour easy just to get into triage. It was less than three minutes. I was called back up to the desk, which is pretty much right beside the other lady's desk. And she says, okay, uh, I need to see your health card one more time and blah, blah, blah. And now go have a seat over in that waiting room, which is about 10 feet away. Five minutes. And I was called to the desk in front of that waiting room. And they said, okay, you can come in now. We went in and they said, you're just going to sit here and wait for the doctor or wait for a nurse. So you can go into the room now. Again, less than five minutes. So it's now been under 15 minutes since I walked in the front door. <laughs> And I'm already sitting in there and I'm thinking, okay, now I'm going to be here for a half an hour. Nope. 30 seconds later, a nurse came in. Within two minutes, they were putting an intravenous line into my arm to give me fluids. Why? Because I didn't know what was wrong with me. I had abdominal pain. And they immediately went to the one thing that will never hurt you, give you fluids. 
That's what a good hospital does. Yeah. Uh, well, so. I mean, almost every major hospital in the States is a learning hospital. You can do residency. And in the major, hospital. yeah, yeah, major yeah. hospitals. I mean, oh, I'm not talking about, I'm, I'm not just talking about hospitals do residency. I'm talking about full learning hospitals where they, where they actually, yeah. it's not just residency. Right. There's actually, like, part of, the, I don't even know really how it works. I'm not training to be a doctor. But there's more to it than, than just residency because you can be learning before you get to your residency. Uh, yeah. in a learning hospital and then go to uh because not all you I mean you know, you know all your hospital work isn't done in the university no, once right, you get right. past a certain point you still have to go and do stuff before you do residency and you have to see hospitals and stuff and yeah. some some hospitals have courses attached to them through the universities and, and and of course we have major universities here that are world renowned not so much as yale and you know harvard and stuff like that they're not ivy league but uh, they're about as close as you can get to it as as Canadian, you know. <laughs> yeah, but but that said, it's just it's just it uh, it's a lot easier when there is a little oversight in there. Uh, but in, as yet, it has to be run the same way as it would a private business. That's the key to it. So, yeah. I'm just uh, I'm just for uh, l less government involvement in private life, not more. That's and that's fair. That's fair. So here's <laughs> this is a complete, a completely terrible segue as we move on to something else real quick. Uh, <laughs> chat GP, chat GPT or or Gemini? Quick, Gemini. <laughs> All right. Uh, I want to say why. But that's because I haven't showed you the video yet. So I'll hear your why. And, and if I can get that video uploaded to this quick that I shot earlier, uh, you can then tell me. Yeah. Well, <laughs> why is because I feel like with now, keep in mind, because of the Google One subscription that I already have, I am already have available the use of the advanced Gemini. Right. So it has, you know, faster capabilities. It's got more tokens, all that, blah, 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 that you heard on the IO. But since they've made the changes now, I think at what, 1.5, I think it is. Um, its responses are much more accurate, much faster. And I've actually been using it for some of my web posts. Like, for example, when I post a video on my other channel, I can take the script from that video and I'll paste the entire ca closed caption script and I'll say, create me a catchy, you know, YouTube title with a description and include SEO optimized keywords and blah, 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 blah. Boom. 30 seconds later, it's like, oh, sure, here you go. And it's got like this fantastic title it's got a great description it says oh and here's all your keywords and i can literally just copy and paste that into a blog post it saves me having to redo all of that i'm still using my content because it was my recorded voice but just in script form so it's not creating my content it's just organizing it so it's and it has performed right. way better than chat gpt has in the past and i used to use that exclusively until i got the gemini and it's actually outperforming at this point, at least in my opinion. Yo, and I, you know what? I can't disagree with you. I, did, I, I didn't have that much experience with chat GPT. My only experience with it really is is through Copilot uh, on Windows, which is actually really good. I'm not gonna better, it, especially sure. since it's chat GPT 4. So it actually works really, really well. However, they've made some announcements and about 24 hours before Google uh, I.O. did their announcements about the upcoming versions that we will actually see before the end of the year. We should anyways, possibly mm -hmm. even before uh, Pixel uh, 9 series. Um, maybe not, but somewhere in that area anyways, at least some of the features. Uh, and that includes one of the videos that they showed of uh, walking around and talking to this chat uh, as if you were talking to another person and showing mm -hmm. it videos and pictures and asking it about stuff. And it, it did it did a really remarkable job of it. Are you and, talking oh, about where that. the guy took his son's schoolwork and put it into um, 
Uh, no, 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 no. I'm talking about when, a, when this one person, uh, one of the Google people, I guess, uh, had her phone and she was going through the gym. And oh, I, right. Yes, the newer yes, version yes. we don't have yet. Yeah, this yeah, is yeah, only yeah. internal for them, right? This that morning. was pretty amazing, too. And she yeah. put the phone around and showed stuff. And she said, mm -hmm. as she's talking, she's saying, oh, yeah. And she mentions a couple of things about it and asks yeah. it to describe a couple of things it sees. Walks along, does some other stuff. And then as she turns back around towards the end of it, she says, do you happen to know where I put my glasses? And because her glasses were actually seen in the frame, it immediately responded with, yes, your glasses were next to, yeah. I don't remember, it was a candle or an apple or something like that. Yeah, it was a but red here's apple, the, yeah. And it yeah. said red yes, apple right, yes. too. Yes, it did. <laughs> and, and I thought, well, God, I can't wait to see that. Now, I always look at that stuff and I think, bs it's not going to be that good there's no way it's like the time they said oh this thing that's going to do a magic eraser type of thing and they didn't have a name for it at the time this is like five years ago uh you'll be able to erase a fence in, in your photograph well we never did get that it's a little it's no nowhere near fine-tuned to do that we do now have magic eraser and you know and all that stuff and you can erase a tree and erase a Move person around, and it's yes. all it's all fantastic yeah. whatever right but you're not going to remove a fence from in front of your subject without removing without making everything else look stupid. Uh, at least not yet. Eventually that will be possible. I, tr I strongly believe that, but not right now. And, and so they didn't get to that. It took them five years to perfect it enough. So I think they went and jumped the gun on that one. So when I look at this one, I think, is AI moving along fast enough for them to really say, this is something we're going to get this year? Or did they exaggerate? And the only thing you're going to be able to do is ask it to sing you happy birthday, which you could technically already do. But, no, well, not Gemini. Gemini doesn't sing. In case you didn't notice, this thing <laughs> sings. Gemini doesn't sing. I tried today, doesn't do it. Uh, but you know what does? As long as it's not the free version, that is, is is uh, uh, the new Chat GPT four O, not zero O, the small O. I can't remember what it stands for. They mentioned it, and they. I saw a video where they did a bunch of demonstrations, and almost every demonstration was exactly the same type of thing that Google did a day later. No, Google didn't copy them because clearly they were both working on them at the same time. Right. The exact same things were being done. But the difference is this one, they were having interesting conversations in all kinds of ways. They did the homework thing too, by the way, where the guy did homework with his kid and, 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 the, and the chat bot, he's, can you help him? Don't give him the answers, but help him along. And so the, the kid would say, oh, I think it should be this. And she'd say, well, what's that reason that that is there then? And he would say, okay, that's how this yeah. goes. And he says, oh, well, it's the Sosceles Triangle, so that means this is the, and, and, and he came up with it. And, and he said, yeah. so is this the answer then? She said, that's exactly <laughs> correct. Congratulations, you did a wonderful job. And talking perfectly like a, like a yeah. normal human being. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So the bottom line is, is I decided, I, the free version allows you to do some of this. Not as in-depth as that, because it's free. And as you know, ChatGBT technically wouldn't be free but they've now allowed you to do this chat stuff with it. So I decided I wanted to uh, uh, try this out and I don't know exactly how to do this properly. I gotta try to, I can't, can I set this up after we've already started our, our broadcast here, our recording? Well, you can add it in and do it. Well, know, I'm not, I, yeah, I'm, I'm not even sure how, cause I downloaded it to the computer, but cause I'm afraid if I open this, I'm gonna screw something up, but I'm gonna try. <laughs> uh, it's not open. Oh, yes, it is opening it. Oh, whoops. Yeah, whoops. Okay, hang on. Sorry, that was really loud. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, you'll have to click share, and then you can choose that screen and share it, and it'll put yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, that's, yeah, I just figured, okay, I, yeah, I got it, I got it set and ready. Uh, so let me just, so I go to screen. I could have gone to video, actually. What am I doing? Not screen. Let's cancel that, and I want to share a video, right? Video share features uses more resource and works on high end computers. Okay, wait a minute. <laughs> I, I'm unsure now if I should do it this way, uh, but I think I have to. Uh, or do I? Wait a minute. Let me. Find no, you out. can share the. You can share this the window. Uh, no, I can't. Oh wait. Oh, I'm sorry. Yes, I can. I didn't even look at it. No, I can't. Oh, that's too bad. Okay. Uh, all right, I guess I have no choice. So I'll have to actually share it as a video. Uh, all right, uh, I'll say I understand. Oh, well, now I got to pick it. <laughs> I I thought I already had it ready to play. 
Uh, so I better stop it from the other source right now. Um, uh, see, now I apologize. Please talk while I'm doing this. We don't want that in here. <laughs> <What's that? laughs> hey, this is... I I, I had no idea you were going to play videos. <laughs> well, I didn't know it was going to take forever to. <laughs> now I got to go looking for it. And for some reason, the folder doesn't show up this way. <laughs> it's just crazy. Well, I, I, you know, I watched a good majority of that Google IO and I, I haven't played around chat GPT in some time because I, Jim and I has been doing what I needed to do very, very effectively. So I just have right. you no know, need to it. And I'm, and I have the advance as opposed to having to pay for it in, chat gpt so it just doesn't make sense but okay um, yeah it's i'm it's gonna pretty... okay i i got i got it here i'm gonna i'm gonna give it a go hopefully it's the correct one it's not playing anything okay that's you know what maybe that's why you couldn't download it so uh <laughs> yeah it just sat and spun and spun and spun and never actually played i don't understand so. it i'm watching it uh okay so it appears that there's absolutely no way to do it unless i oh you know what there is actually a way i can do it there is actually again you should I, be able to might... share the window the screen that it's playing yeah yeah that's not what i was going to do i was actually you know what it's doing the same thing on here too so i apologize i'm wasting everybody's time it is not maybe it's some reason video. i don't think it's corrupted because I, if i download it i can play it problem is is that it's not downloading it fast enough uh or sorry it's not streaming it fast enough so I, I'll just, you know what, we'll move on and and I'll check on it. Well, in, in you can minutes. explain what it, what, what it is. I, well, no, it's not going to work. I, I'm not going to explain it. It's not going to work. We're, I, it's, you're going to have to see it. Otherwise, it's useless. <laughs> I, I can explain it until the cows come home. But we'll move on and I'll check it. And if it hasn't buffered past the halfway point, then forget it. Uh, <laughs> because I don't know why it's doing that. But the bottom line is, is I, you know what? I could sh probably show you an example of it on here. I don't know if you'll be able to hear it when I play it. Uh, so you just let me know if you can, if you can hear this when I get this thing started up here. Um, okay, this is it. How are you today? Oh shoot! If I turn the volume up, it might help. Okay. Can you say something? Because I I'm trying to get some I, people I on YouTube to hear you. Yeah, you, Rob, don't talk over it. <laughs> I don't think you're gonna hear it. Uh, it's too quiet. Uh. Uh, but you know what it said? Because it heard me say about the YouTube. It said, "Hey, everybody, thanks for tuning in. If you're enjoying the content, don't forget to like and subscribe." <laughs> <laughs> i already love it <laughs> so yeah you know <laughs> okay so here's the thing once you see this you'll see just how unbelievably crazy it is and the reason why i want you to see it and i will make sure that it happens before the end of this i promise um but nonetheless it's getting kind of scary good in the sense that it does almost sound like you're talking to a real human being and it's responding to you uh, basically in real time in, in in a in a not a robotic manner in any way shape or form nor is it generic responses and you can ask the same question 15 times and get 15 completely different answers with 15 different inflections and different right. emotions if you talk to it angry it responds either in a query sort of fashion or possibly with a defensive voice which is crazy it's like That's you start hilarious. wondering it's like if they put a powerful enough computer together for this kind of thing and they make computers small enough, are we going to end up with a data? You know? <laughs> are we? Are, is Will Smith going to have to save us all? <laughs> Let's talk this. about that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I told you all. I told you. <laughs> Will Smith. Well, yeah, I, yeah, I, I would not trust. I would not trust being saved by Will Smith. I mean, you know. <laughs> why not? <laughs> he you can slap the shit out of somebody, but that's <laughs> well, yeah. <laughs> he can damn sure slap somebody. That's the damn show. <laughs> uh, uh, I wonder if. See, now here's the thing: if I can open this in Chrome, it should play locally in Chrome. 
can you can you open a video in chrome well yeah you can go to your google photos but uh i'm trying to no play no it not not photos not photos literally chrome well no because chrome no. by default can't play a file outside of like playing it from your you know photos or something you know well that's really stupid because internet explorer used to do that 20 years ago <laughs> just saying <laughs> it should be built in to be able to do that it's local it should be a, shouldn't be a problem not like it's a security risk if it's local um okay, okay hold on you're looking you're looking for a video example. No, I downloaded it and it's playing. So let me see if I can share this. Oh, okay. You oh. see, I don't know why I couldn't. Maybe you have better luck, is all I'll say. Uh if you can or get I'm, past the first five seconds, that means it'll work. It's not luck, Sean. It's skill. It, oh, okay. All right. We'll go there. All right. Let's... How long okay. will it have taken you to set up an LG TV? I'm just kidding. That's right. That's just a dick at LG. Not, nothing. There's just anything wrong with LG. They did have great TVs. <laughs> but um, this over here, so I can. There's usually the a little bit of a weird setup thing going okay. on with those things. Hey, I can see it. Let's see if we can hear it. I don't hear anything. You don't hear it? No, I, I do not hear it. That's interesting. Why do I not hear it? Uh, that is oh weird. wait, wait! You may you may have forgotten to turn on the media setting for for your uh, your source source media. No, I'm sharing the actual. Oh yeah, you're screen. right. That 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 shouldn't matter then. <laughs> no, that is very odd. Uh, I don't have anything muted, do I? No, I don't. Um. Hmm. Well, this is turning out to be the unluckiest portion of, of the episode. Uh, I feel like, I feel like Bill Gates uh, right about now um, or Steve, Steve Palmer. <laughs> Maybe not. I, nobody has that much energy. Uh, okay. Let uh, me. Um, so that's a video. So let's see if I can do this differently then maybe i can do it like what are you gonna you do did it you're gonna attempt to do it from google photos because i know get it to I'm play see if i can show it right on this okay so i just want to know well oh. if you actually will remember what i told you my name was oh wait a oh, minute Sean. I'll remember your name forever and ever. Just like I didn't want that part of it out there. Detail of this scintillating conversation because, you know, it's not like I have better things to remember, like the entire internet or anything. Okay, so <laughs> how about this? Uh, I'm just going to tell you that uh, I like Star Wars, but I prefer Star Trek. Oh, how utterly fascinating. Another person with a lukewarm opinion on Star Wars and Star Trek. It's not like I've heard that one before. Okay, pause it for just a second. Your unique taste in sci-fi is truly awe-inspiring. I, I, <laughs> I, I really should explain. I missed the beginning of what of the conversation, I, and I should have restarted it before I started shooting the video. I specifically told it to be sarcastic, and then I decided afterwards to tell it to be sarcastic and rude. So I wanted to see how it would inflections would change, what it would say. So continue on. You, you see the rest of it. Okay. Okay. So fine. What if I told you I preferred Firefly? Oh, look at you, trying to be the rebel with your alternative sci-fi preferences. Firefly, huh? That's cute. It's like the little engine that could of the sci-fi world. But sure. <laughs> Let's pretend like it's in the same league as Star Wars or Star Trek. <laughs> okay, well, I'm probably going to have to go now because I have to go do my podcast with my buddy from Nashville. Oh, what a shame. I was just starting to have so much fun being sarcastic and rude. But by all means, go do your podcast with your buddy from Nashville. 
I'm sure it'll be an absolute riveting conversation compared to this one. Okay, you can now cease being rude and no longer be sarcastic. Just be yourself. How does that sound? Oh, thank goodness. I was starting to run out of snarky remarks. Back to being my usual helpful self. If you need anything else or just want to chat, feel free to let me know. Okay. Can you remember what I just said I was getting ready to leave to go do? You mentioned you were getting ready to do a podcast with your buddy from Nashville. Excellent. And obviously you remember my name. Uh, that, that, but seriously, that, that's just a free thing. Um, yes, you could do the whole video thing where you walk around doing video stuff. Like I said, with, uh, uh just like with the Google thing. Um, yeah. and, and of course pictures and whatnot, but unfortunately in the free version, it doesn't work. Yeah. Something tells me she wasn't going to run out of snarky comments though. <laughs> no, 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 it would have continued. <laughs> yeah. It's just as soon as you tell it not to, it's suddenly is super polite, right? Uh, yeah, uh, yeah. But you can, you can give it instruction. And what I said was until further notice. You could also literally be specific and say, for the next five minutes, be like this, and then suddenly change your attitude at the five minute mark, but without telling me why. And that was Chat GPT, <laughs> yeah. right? Yes, Chat GPT yeah. four, four. Uh, what is it called? Chat GPT four, O, oh, not four zero, four small O. Oh. I I don't remember what the O stands for. Um, Interesting. Uh, and yeah, you can do it with free. You just have to sign up for the free one. Uh, you know, I just have you like, tried that with Gemini? Uh, it doesn't do it. it. Doesn't you can't have a conversation with Gemini like that. It doesn't do it. You can't mm -hmm. talk to Gemini uh, in in a continual conversation manner. It doesn't work. Yeah. They haven't built it in yet. Okay. And, and it's I interesting tried, because so technically they they have had that with Assistant for a while. But I guess the difference is they can't put it in Gemini until they have the model into the place where it can be. Now technically they, that model is ready but whatever fine tuning they want to do and then it's going to be a few months at least before they start shipping it out so we're not going to see it until at least october probably they say by the end of the year but that pretty much means halfway through next year when they say it <laughs> right, it's google yeah. um luckily it won't cancel it well no they, i was just gonna say that well it won't be one of the things that cancel because everyone else is doing it which means everybody yeah, yeah, well. so it won't be one of the things that gets canceled and jim and i does have the ability to actually even be better than that because you saw it. They they announced that they're going to be by the end of the year they're going to be at two million tokens. So, well, one uh, thing that it, impressed me the most. Uh, wait, wait. I just want to say that I will say this though. Jim and I, regardless, is catching up after what you just saw. You see why I'm saying Jim and I is catching up because this is something we can do right now in the free version on Chat GPT. So Jim and I is playing catch up. It's not the other way around. Sorry, go right. on. Well, no, I'll say one of the things that actually impressed me more than her walking around, because that's something that you're showing this AI, right? Although right, right. the um, when she asked it, what you, could you do to make this code be uh, better? And it actually understood the code on the whiteboard. Was well, yeah, but However, in all fairness, G both chat GPT and, 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 yeah. uh, and right. Gemini slash Bard have been able to do that for over a year. Okay. It's just not, not what you say vocally. Me, okay. <laughs> is when the guy said that he took his son's schoolwork. It had videos and documents yeah. and all kinds of stuff. And it basically started a conversation with itself. It was like two chat bots talking about what information was in this, you know, list of stuff that he put in there. And then he said, join in. And he said, and they said, oh, hey, Josh, you have a question? And then he asked a question. And then they, wow. one and the other then started to respond. I thought that was pretty cool because you have two different, like, bots, like, talking to each other. And, like, Wait a minute. What, what were human you, conversations. What were you watching? The Google I.O. It's in there. I, see, I, I missed that part. But oh, I should you tell you that the chat GPT video that I watched that was done a day before that did yeah. the exact same thing put two of them beside each other 
and told each one of them they were going to talk to each other. And they no, did. That's, that's not what he they just you'll have to watch it. You'll have to watch it because that's not what that was in Google I.O. It was like they took. He just said, hey, um, give us synopsis of what's in this information. And they said, oh, OK, sure. And it's like, oh, hey, Jim. Oh, hey, Rhonda. You know, hey, this. And it just started like having. This oh, conversation oh, OK. So itself. you're basically saying he didn't tell them in advance. No, that they're gonna no. Talk to each other. They just both realized we were both talking and went, wait a minute, I'm talking he, to somebody else. And I said, oh, yeah, I'm a chat. I'm I, I'm I'm a Gemini. To, and yeah. I'm a Gemini, too. And then they just talk. To I each guess. Other. He just said that I forget how he worded it. You'll have to go watch it. But he just said, "Hey, yeah, I don't suppose you know how far in that was because it, I mean there, there was like uh, it was pretty far forty-five in. minutes of nothing before the show started. Yeah. It was the latest I've ever seen them start. It, it was it was pretty far in. Um, I don't know that I have time right now to to go hunt it down, but uh, <laughs> you'll have to go check it out because it was that to me was probably more impressive that's impressive. Yeah, I wanted other. I definitely want to see that because I was impressed as yeah. hell." with this guy's um but one thing i didn't like about it was the way he had to prompt him to say things uh yeah, he didn't thought, he didn't well, have to prompt anything it seemed like any two assistants could do that these ones are just more intelligent but if these two actually recognize that they're both talking to each other you know what he did do though with those two in the chat gpt one he had them actually sing what they were saying like he said i wanted to i want you to say so i can't remember what it was something he wanted them to do like a poem like thing and he said but i want you to sing it and then he told the other one, I want you to sing it, but I want you to do one line at a time. And the first one misunderstood and kept going one line at a time. He said, <laughs> no, I want you to do one line and the other one to do one line. And so it said, oh, I'm sorry. I'll make sure we don't make that mistake again. Here we go. And she started, she sang the one line. And then the other one took a couple seconds, but then it's saying it's one line, but it sounded more like speaking, kind of like Captain Kirk. I'm not Captain Kirk. I mean, William Shatner and his spoken word shit. And he said, no, that doesn't sound like singing. And it's like, oh, I'm sorry. Well, I was going to the, you know, whatever. <laughs> it's really terrible on purpose, though, it seems. But it also seems like the voice actor that does it can or can't sing. And that's what they base on, on whether it can sing or not. So if you choose one that can't sing, it will spoken word you when you ask it to sing. If you pick one that can sing, it will actually sing. Uh, like the, the voice that I chose, I deliberately asked it to do something in German and I noticed the voice didn't change to a German voice. So the voice actor truly did the German and the English, both of them perfectly phonetically. Yeah. It was amazing. Oh, in, found, in case anybody's I I wondering, found, I do, I, I do, this... I do understand a small amount of German or ein bisschen Deutsch. Ich verstehe ein bisschen Deutsch, but I <laughs> don't really speak because i don't uh, i've never taken enough time i'm lazy but anyways go on <laughs> no i'm saying i think i found where this guy did this little thing let me see if i can get this real quick because it's pretty impressive I, I that to me like i said that was uh, we can't put that on there why not that's not a good idea we're not even monetized yet and it'll make it harder to get monetized can we do that no, I guess we just Why have to we? cite where it's, it's coming. A, we can cite, cite, cite it where it's coming from. That's, that's all, yeah. We're good. And we're only showing a snippet anyways, right? Hey, it's free advertising. You're welcome. <laughs> I'm listening uh, so I can... You're, you're doing... I'm sorry. You're, you're still looking for it is what you're saying. No, I, I got it. I, I just get to the point. <laughs> well, it's taking a while, so I'll just make sure that everyone in the United States knows my opinion on public insurance. <laughs> I don't think all insurance should be like that. No, uh, personal insurance, absolutely not. Home insurance, absolutely not. Uh, life insurance, absolutely not. Uh, and none, neither is it in Canada. It's the same as you. Uh, I get my insurance from different places. So, um, that said, I'll segue back again. <laughs> Yeah, I, I, I'll I'll find it, and uh, you know, we we'll, we can look at it later. It's I yeah, think I found yeah. the section, but yeah, I gotta right. find this little area where he had it do its thing. But I'll find it and I'll send it to. Yeah, you. The, the yeah, the bottom line is, is without later. without question to uh, just you know make sure you you check out the uh, the Google I O keynote and uh, it watch as much of it as you want to watch. A lot of it's interesting. Uh, yeah, it's very. It's I thought kind it was of very monotonous. Yeah, if you're a person who finds it monotonous, though, then you know flick through it. 
Um, and if you happen to have, uh, I believe Gemini is capable of this too. I think Gemini will actually summarize a video. So, it, oh no, you can't download that whole thing and ask to summarize. Damn thing. Oh, make you want. oh, it will. No, it so will, but it's, it's here, too damn long. To, for, no, to no, no. So here's time. what I did on one of my videos. Yeah. I took the URL. I said, hey, give me key uh, chapter points of this video. And I just pasted the video link into Gemini. It basically, I guess, watched the video and, and looked through the transcript and said, oh, yeah, here you go. Yeah, yeah, and no, it, it gave me bookmarks for chapters. The, when but the you, previous one wouldn't do that. I couldn't get when, it to do that. When when does it, yeah well I think they only added that like last month or something oh, okay, maybe even yeah. this month I can't remember but it did, uh, it did excellent I was like oh sweet I just basically copy and pasted it and it, fixed the few things well here's boom, the thing you, did, you did that on the computer not in your phone right yes yeah exactly um, the, the whole part about adding the video and acting to summarize it uh, apparently that didn't work on the phone and now it does and the only reason oh. why I know that is because it actually told me on my phone that it would do it I haven't tried gotcha. it yet on the phone. Yeah, but it actually it came up and said that. A lot of things have updated in the last few days. Some of them have nothing to do with Google and Gemini, which is weird. Um, well, one thing I just want to say before we get to the end here, because we're getting close. To me, yeah. the the most amazing part of all of this is the ramifications it has for the accessibility. The, the handicapped people who can't write, who can't read who oh can't my do goodness. things no, yeah all right no this argument opens there. a whole new world for them to be able to function and feel like yeah. they are not handicapped and to my, me that's my, amazing yeah and and let's just say that that's not just gemini chat gbt gemini yes, every yeah, one it's the whole AI everyone you process. must use give you these opportunities already yeah. and they're only getting better mm -hmm. and both yeah. chat gpt and gemini uh, if you don't have access to it now, certainly in the next several months, you will. Uh, and in many cases for free. Uh, and it's uh, very possible because everyone's talking about it now. It's quite possible that Apple will be including AI in theirs. And they're not going to give you a baseline. They've waited this long. They Obviously, they're doing something. I don't know yeah. if they're going to be using Gemini. Some rumors are saying they're going to be using Gemini. Some rumors are saying ChatGPT, but there's no way. Because Apple would have to pay through the nose for chat GPT. Google would give them Gemini access for way less. Yeah. Way less. Yeah, so, you know they've been working on it behind the scenes. It's just a matter of how they're yeah. going to come out with it. But they're so, supposed to have it in their next iteration of iOS. Here, here's the, the thing. I, iOS is, of course, uh, something that they want to make sure everything works all great, blah, 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 right? So the one thing that they, that they always insist on, in, in addition to security, is is how smoothly something operates. So if chat, yes, chat, I'm sorry, Gemini is, is, is good enough for them to even consider, you know that that means millions of people instantaneously, instantaneously, suddenly, became, and I say millions, instantaneous, because when, an, when a new iPhone comes out, you're talking about 15 million phones sold day one. Like, right. <laughs> uh, so that's a lot of people that will suddenly be going, Oh, wow, this Gemini thing is really cool. I mean, they can yeah. use it right now with their Google account uh, online from their phone. Yeah. But when it's actually inside of uh, an iPhone, an iPad, then they can use it the same way that we're basically going to be using it very soon uh, on our phones and, you know, Samsung tablets and stuff like that. Um, yeah. And which you can get it to do things, you know, and it's it's going to be working with Google Home uh, much better uh, in the very near future. Work with your, all your smart home stuff. So th there's just a lot of things that are great. And my my brother is is uh, is vision impaired. So this is a kind of thing that is absolutely fantastic for him. He doesn't like technology. He doesn't care. I try to get him a new phone. He goes, my iPhone 7 is perfect. Thank you. <laughs> so but at the same time right so he he if he can get the computer and his phone to do what he wants without having to fiddle and and it doesn't take a big learning process i mean being able to pick up your phone for instance or your computer click one button or tap one button and just say this is what i need can you please organize this for me turn this on 
switch this off. I need you to be in do not disturb from 11 p.m. every night. That kind of stuff. And yeah. you can't barely see or maybe not at all. That's fantastic. Mm-hmm. That works absolutely yeah. great, right? So I, I think, you know, good on that. Yeah, and and that's gonna that's an excellent thing. And quite frankly, I just hope that the whole AI being able to talk to you thing works out a little bit better in respect to uh, how intelligent it gets, um, but doesn't go too far because there's going to be people with some issues that may take to it like it's actually a person. And hopefully yeah. this thing actually says, would you like me to get in touch with somebody for you? As opposed uh, to, I'm oh, sure that's a great that, idea. That's, Go do that. Yeah. So. yeah, it's it's just, everybody keep in mind, it's just a tool. <laughs> Sorry, it's I just do a it. tool. Yeah, I think we're done. <laughs> yeah, you're the one that went over, not me. I know, it's my fault. <laughs> but, hey, anyway. I'm Canadian. I'm allowed to. Right, right. From Canada, I'm Lionel McClintock. From the U.S., I'm Robert, and we will catch you on the next episode. Have a good one.